Hello and welcome uh, to the lecture series on uh, data migration. In our previous video, I had seen how to import FPDI files into Oracle Fusion Cloud Apps using Oracle Integration Cloud. Uh, that is with the method one approach in this video we are going to learn how to uh, import fbdi files using method two approach so uh, i have already built the uh, integration uh, and the callback integration uh, so the first step in this method is get or generate the file this will be same as uh, what we had uh, uh, learned in our previous video uh, if you are getting the file uh, directly from some system or the source system like mail or ftp server or uh, oci object storage you can directly download and uh, upload the file to ucm if not we have to generate the file for uh, details on how to generate the file csv file and the property file zipping the file you can uh, watch our part 3 uh, video on uh, data migration so i uh, will be focusing today on this run import supplier because all those steps are covered in our previous video so method one we had seen uh, uh, after generating the file we had uploaded to ucm and uh, post that we had run the job uh, in this uh, method we will uh, directly uh, run the job uh, fbdi import job for import suppliers uh, click on this uh, edit erp adapter uh, in our previous uh, video, uh, we had selected this send files to UCM or the ERP cloud. Uh, then we had run the ESS job using this query create. But in this uh, method two, we are selecting this import bulk data into Oracle ERP cloud. And from the bulk data import process, we have to select the import suppliers. Uh, not all uh, bulk data import processes are listed over here. Uh, if you uh, are unable to see this uh, uh, FBDI import uh, uh, process, it or a process over here, then we have to go for the method one option. Uh, as you can see, uh, the details what we uh, written into the uh, properties file is uh, listed over here import and the uh, job uh, path name if, if uh, another option over here is uh, uh, we can refer the property file what is uploaded in the ACM uh, we can just click on this and uh, provide the uh, file name over here job property file name um, that is uh, without the extension uh, since we are generating the property file as part of this import uh, we are not selecting this option uh, in the next step, uh, this is a very important thing to, uh, Thing over here. Uh, we have to select this checkbox that is enable uh, uh, callback if you are in uh, uh, older uh, instances. Then it will uh, show the option for uh, identifier and the version if you are in the newer releases. Then uh, this option will be grayed out for you. OIC or the ERP uh, adapter will uh, uh, raise an event and the OIC will trigger to the uh, import supplier uh, process. So uh, it, it will not check this identifier and the versions. So uh, uh, if you are getting this option, then uh, please give the identifier name of our callback integration and the version of uh, the integration over here uh, once done uh, we can uh, close this uh, if we check the mapper uh, we are passing the file reference of the zip file uh, what we generated uh, earlier and the name of the zip file so uh, these are the only things uh, what we need to do in the method 2 this is a lot of effort and in the callback once the job uh, process completes in the uh, oracle fusion instance uh, it will uh, call our callback integration which we uh, which we had uh, uh, used while configuring the uh, uh, erp cloud uh, invoke connection in the method to uh, erp learning in so let me edit this so uh, getting generating the file uploading file to fbdi uh, to uh, erp cloud callback integration gets triggered on job completion so uh, this erp uh, callback we can configure uh, to be invoked on the completion of the job uh, for all activities uh, or either for the, uh, only the success or the error doubt scenarios uh, as you can see over here our uh, ideas this integration uh, will be triggered on for the uh, import supplier process and uh, for all the cases uh, if you want this only for a uh, trigger for the failure cases or the uh, success cases we can select either of them or uh, always uh, what we can do is uh, this callback activity will have the status of the uh, process uh, we can download the logs uh, all the uh, information will be available in the uh, when this integration will be triggered and we can continue with the uh, other activities uh, so let me know uh, if you are unable to follow uh, uh, any of the topics in our data migration so that i can cover in my uh, next videos